Hello, and welcome to VO's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business and sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. It's Christmas week. I'm so excited. The 25th, it's Friday. So happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you. I'm excited about today's video because uh, I've gotten just, just, I've had an enormous outpouring of people wanting more information about how to process their audio. And this time we're going to do it through audio. Audacity. All right. So I want to show you a couple of different things, not only how to process your audio from beginning to end, but also how to set it up as uh, keyboard shortcuts, as well as one button fits all. Okay. There's my cat. All right. So let's do it. He wants to be a part of the video. All right. Here we go. So we're going to go ahead and switch over. Here we go right there. All right. So now uh, I just have a quick recording here on Audacity. All right. And basically it's me saying, <laughs> just me saying hello, 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 hello. All right. Now, I want to point out a couple things. First off, uh, over here, if you right click on this, I like to put it in the DB range so I can see what the DB is. All right. And how high I'm up. So here you can see that we're around negative uh, 15 or so. And the other way, you can't really see what we're what we're doing. OK. Um, also, I click on the audio track. I like to add uh, the um, spectral view as well as we're going to do multi view so that we can see both. Okay, so we can basically see the um, uh, the audio spectral view, and then we can also see our wave file down here. All right, so this is how I like to get started with this. Now I'm going to go through the process from A to Z. You've recorded your audio. All right. The first thing always is up here. If you right click on this, okay, this gives you right here where you're recording your audio in. Remember, you want to record in between negative 12 and negative 6 dB. As you can see, I'm doing right here. If I was recording lower, I would go ahead and raise it. And if I was recording higher, I would go ahead and lower it. I want to try to keep myself right in between these dials so that when I record and I start doing the work to my audio, we're not going to have any issue with that. Okay. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into this. So, oh, by the way, real quick note. Uh, sorry, I was silencing my phone. Real quick note uh, that you see me on the right and not as mono, and that's because I'm on a secondary mic, and this mic under Audacity has to be recorded as a stereo. So basically, if I wanted to switch something, if I'm in stereo, all right, you basically highlight what you've done. You go to tracks, go to mix, and you'll mix it stereo down to audio, uh, stereo down to mono. I've already done that, so that's why you can see the mono here. But I just wanted to show you. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in. Now I want to show you something. We're gonna create a macro. Okay, so in Adobe Audition, all right, it's uh, a keyboard shortcut, and we are going to use a keyboard shortcut. Okay, but in Adobe Audition, it's called a favorite. Okay, where right? you first you create a favorite, then you record the actual uh, keyboard shortcut. For here in Adobe Audi uh, Audacity, we're going to create a macro. So what I want to come over here is I want to come to tools, all right, and I want to come to macros. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and hit macro. So now I want to show you right here. Uh, I did this macro before we uh, went ahead and started. OK. And this is the macro that you're going to be using. And I'm going to show you we're going to do it from scratch, but I want to run through it real quick. So we're going to use the filter curve first. We're going to then use a compressor. We're going to use RX7 voice to noise, RX7 mouth declick. We're going to use NS1. All right. And then we're going to use a loudness normalizer. OK, to make sure that we have a good uh, full volume to raise it back up after compression. OK, and then in the end, if we want to add a limiter, which we can to limit how high the volume is, we'll go ahead and add that. So let's go ahead and do this and let me walk you through how this works. So we're going to hit new. I'm going to go Anthony. Uh, you're going to name this whatever you want to. Anthony test three. Remember, this is the name that you type in for the macro. That's going to then be the, what we use to type in to come up with the keyboard shortcut. So I'm just going to use Anthony test three. I'm going to hit OK. So now we're here. So now remember the process that we came up with in the last one. Uh, we're going to use it here. So first things first, we want to EQ. So I'm going to hit insert. OK, and I'm going to actually go to the effect in here that is the uh, filter curve. 
So let's see where we can find that. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. We go to F. Uh, do, 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 Where are you in here? You're in here somewhere. I know you are. I'm probably just missing it while I'm going around. Here we go. So we're going to filter curve. Now, the cool thing is once you find it, filter curve is first. Go up to edit parameters. I'm going to hit this. Now, this is going to show, of course, I set this up previously. Now, if this looks familiar to you, that's because it's the same setup as the parametric equalizer. So basically, in order to set this up like this, all right, you might come and it might be like this. Basically, we want to start, we want to put a point at 300 hertz, okay? And we also want to put a point at about 180 hertz or so right around here. Okay, and what we're gonna do, all right, is we're gonna also come here and we're gonna put a point at about 600, all right? And we're gonna raise that up to about halfway, or we're gonna raise it up to 6 dB, all right? And then we're gonna put one up at 1,000 and we're gonna raise that up here. Now, my goal is, is I'm gonna put about four in between, all right? And I'm gonna start to make this curve. Okay, and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put four more here. Uh, and all I'm doing to make these is I'm just clicking on the uh, on the actual file, okay? Like on the actual line, excuse me. And I'm making this curve, and the idea here is that we're just gonna curve this up so that it's a gradual curve, it's not so violent, all right? Okay, so we're curving that up to about 12 dB boost, right when we get to about 1,000, but we're beginning that around 3,000. Now down here, what we're gonna do is that uh, we're at 180, and then I'm gonna come down here to about, uh, let's see, where are we gonna come about? So let's go about 70 hertz, all right? We're gonna move this up to only about 6 dB, all right? And again, I'm gonna put one right in about at 120, and I'm going to go ahead and do probably three there. And I'm going to do four here. And again, I'm just going to uh, loosen out uh, this and make it uh, just a little bit more of a nice and gradual uh, curve up. Okay. All right. So we have this here like so. I can even move that up just a teeny bit maybe. All right, so here we go. So you kind of see this is our curve, right? So we're going to use this. Remember, this is basically like a loudness maximizer. We're just giving a boost to the low end and a boost to the high end, all right? These are also called high shelf, low shelf. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna hit okay. And basically, now that I've got that down, I'm gonna hit okay. And that goes into our first uh, our first uh, uh, effect in our in our parameter, right, or in our um, our macro. So the next thing we're gonna do is add compression. So I'm gonna come in here, all right, and I'm gonna type in, um, well, it doesn't actually let me type in, so I'm gonna go click compressor. And as I hit compressor, I'm gonna go edit parameters. That's gonna come up. Now, what I want you to do is set your threshold, all right, at about negative 10. Okay, noise floor at negative 40 dB is fine. Now the ratio, I want you to set your ratio at about 2.5 to one, okay? So this means that basically what we're going to do, all right, is that we are going to add negative 10, all right, everything that is below that, okay, we are going to compress, all right? What I mean below is I mean below, we are going to compress, all right, and we're going to raise, that as well, because remember, it goes on both ways, up and down, all right? So that means for every dB we do that, we're going to compress it 2.5, all right? So we're gonna hit okay, all right? Now, we are gonna say compressed on peaks as well. We're not gonna do makeup gain, all right? So we're just gonna hit okay, and then we're gonna hit okay. So now we've got two in here. So basically, if we were to end here, this would be, uh, you know, we would do a filter curve and a compressor, but we're not done. So now we're going to add in our cleanup. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna look for my RX-7, all right, which is in here, where are you? There we go, RX-7, uh, mouth declick, okay? So I'm gonna hit okay. All right, so my multi-clip goes in there. I'm gonna go ahead and look for my 
RX-7 um, denoise. And by the way, I didn't uh, go and look at the parameters, but we'll do the parameters on this one. So let's go to the parameters on voice mouth denoise. If I hit edit parameters, you can see that I've got the noise re reduction. I'm going to raise my noise reduction uh, to about four to, uh, about 15, I think. All right, and I'm actually going to raise this to about 2.2 or so, and I have it in adaptive mode. Now, this is based off of my space, all right, and, you know, each one of these, all right, is, uh, you know, showing you, like, basically, so what I've done is as you, as you play your audio, okay, and what you'll see is this will adapt to your audio to make sure that it takes out the lower end. Now, by raising the threshold, what you're doing is I'm raising uh, the the amount of, as you can see, this raises the whole bar. So it actually raises how much it's going to take away from you. Does that make sense? Like how much it, it actually measures to take away. And then the reduction is actually how much it takes away. Okay, so this is like giving the giving it a boost. Do you know what I mean? Like we're adding, we're adding a boost to it almost. I want on dialogue, I want surgical, and I want to hit OK. All right, so then I'm going to hit OK there. Now you can see I have these um, on here now. So now the next thing we're going to do is remember in our curve, we're going to go ahead and we're going to insert a noise, the final noise reduction. Now remember in the Adobe Audition video, we used the compressor. All right, the single bang, or um, we used uh, uh, dynamic compressor. On this one, we're gonna go ahead and dive into NS1. So I'm gonna use NS1, all right, I'm gonna use NS1 mono, all right, I'm gonna edit parameters, okay? Actually, I don't have NS1 mono, I have NS1, I think I have, here we go. I have NS1 here, yeah, there we go. So I have NS1 here, what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and I wanna raise this up to about 10, okay? All right, and uh, we'll do about we'll do about ten. Again, your space might be different to where you need to raise it up a little higher. My recommendation is don't raise it above negative twenty. All right, don't raise. I mean, don't raise it above twenty here because you know now it's up to you to depend on how much you do. But remember, this is a noise suppressor, so it could suppress more noise than you want it to. So I'm going to do around ten. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to hit OK here. So now I have my setup. Now what I want to do in the end is I want to go ahead and add. Um, something special here, which is called um, the loudness uh, normalization. So if I come here and hit that, all right, and it's going to show me my RMS, okay, is at negative 19. That's what I want the total rate mean square or basically the average of my audio to be at negative 19 dB. All right, so I'm going to hit OK. And then last thing I want to do, all right, I'm going to hit OK here. Last thing I want to do is I want to insert, okay, a limiter. Okay, so this is important because we want to limit how high it goes. So if I go to limit, limiter, and I'm going to say that I don't want it to go higher than negative 2. And I want it to be a hard limit, meaning that it won't peak higher than negative 2. You can set it negative 1. You saw in my other video, I think I was around negative 1 or negative 2 as well. So we're going to go hold at negative 2. I'm going to hit OK, hit OK. All right, now that I hit OK... What's going to happen is, is I'm going to go and I'm going to set this up for you. So watch, I'm going to hit OK. So remember, we call this Anthony Test 3. So I hit OK. Now I'm going to go over to Audacity. Now, if you're on, um, I believe if you're on a, a PC, it's under Edit. OK, but I don't know if it, I can't remember on the PC. I know it's under Edit if you're on a PC for Adobe Audition. But anyways, we want to hit Preferences. And then under Preferences, you got all these things. You want to go down to Keyboard. OK, so what we're going to do now is once you get to keyboard, you're going to come in here, you're going to type in Anthony test and you can see right here the pop up Anthony test three. All right. Now I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say X on my keyboard is what I want. I'm going to hit set. It's going to say, hey, you've done that. I'm going to be like, it's OK, because uh, I want to switch it out because I was that was another one. And I'm going to hit OK. All right. Now. All I have to do to go through that entire macro, all right, is to hit the X button and it will clean up and do all that stuff that we did. All right. So here we go. So I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to hit X. All right. So you could tell right off the bat, it's done a lot of cleanup. All right. And we've gone ahead. So if we go ahead and let's actually zoom back out. All right. Uh, so now let's go. Ahead. Actually, let me pull that down a little bit. And let's zoom out a little bit more. All right, here we go. So hello, 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 hello. 
All right. So you can hit, this was a, a piece where I actually um, just made a noise with my thing. So I can actually delete that. But anyways, that is a piece. And you can tell right here, right down here, all right, this is what the noise floor is down here now. Okay. And again, if you want to, in the beginning of your track, you can always do something where you can come down here and do a, let's see, we can do a silence. I think I did away with it because of my whole thing. But if I did something like this and I reduced the, I could reduce this by negative 40. Okay. Uh, and no, I don't want to do the whole thing. I just want to do this section. All right. And you can actually uh, come in here and... Uh, reduce the whole thing by negative again I come up to amplify come down I'm gonna go ahead and reduce it by negative 40 all right and I hit okay you can see how it does away with this stuff there hello 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 so right there you could see you could see in the upper top here with the playback hello hello it was perfect absolutely perfect so at this point this file is ready to go and all you had to do was press x and it took care of all of that for you your eq your compression your cleanup and you're done thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe i know we didn't go through like getting rid of um uh, breaths and everything but using that amplify technique i just showed you all right, you can actually set up another keyboard uh, shortcut and literally go through your audio and wherever you see that, you can reduce the actual uh, uh, volume of the places where you breathe instead of doing away with all of them as well. And that actually will sound a lot better. You'll keep room tone and uh, it works a lot faster. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.